Definitely, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. And I wanted to actually talk about your VC position, actually, as director as Arts and Culture for Odyssey Trust. And you joined in September, is that, is that correct? Yeah, so it's, it's a strange time, isn't it, to start a new job? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and actually, you know, having my interview back in, it was uh, April, and obviously that was right at the height of, um, you know, COVID. And I suppose at that point, you think to yourself, oh, you know, by September, We'll be back to normal. I'll be able to go and you know, so I'll be able to start my new job and be all normal. But yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting. I've just really enjoyed it. But a really inspiring team, and it's a really really inspiring trust. So it very much was an extension of the kind of work I was doing in the City of London uh, previously. So as director of arts and culture, I'm part of the central education team in the Odyssey Trust for Education. So we're a new team. We all started in September, and we're working across the two schools. We've got a school in Bexley Heath, Townley Grammar. Um, which are you know selective girls grammar with boys in the sixth form fantastic school really innovative uh, and we've got King Henry school in Erith uh, again really really interesting really ground in its grounded in its community as a school it's really really exciting you know most of the kids at King Henry walk to school so it's it's an interesting mix of these two schools you know townley has got quite a wide reach being a grammar school it's got a wide reach across London you've got students coming from several boroughs and King Henry is very much ground in its local community. So you've got this wonderful mix of schools. Um, and, you know, nearly 3,000 people is between the two wow. schools. So it's really exciting to be able to <laughs> start to create that arts and cultural offer and support the teams. Because obviously there are heads of department, there's heads of, uh, you know, arts within each school. So I'm working very much with the leaders uh, and the leadership teams and the kind of pods to really develop an arts and cultural offer that, you know, fits for community, it's right for the kids. Because I think, well, you know this, this is why mm -hmm. you've got the hip <laughs> yeah. can't assume, you know, when you think about your own background and your own training, we can't assume that this is what young people want, that this is what our students want. And I'm a huge advocate, and this is why, you know, people like Matt Griffiths and Youth Music are so inspiring, because you've got to start with the, the young people that you're, you serve, in a way, as they're the ones that we start with, and that's how we build our offer, and that's how we build our arts and musical offer. We don't start with what we want to do. Well, you know, we have to have that as well, I think, because we've got a lot to offer, haven't we, as educators? Mm -hmm. But we do have to think about what do the young people need, what are their interests, what are our aspirations, and build an offer around them. So that's a lot of the work, you know, hopefully I'm looking to do in this new role. Fantastic. I was actually going to ask about actually how you deal with work with so many people and pupils, actually 3,000, 3, you said. I mean, how do you deal with so many students and work in two schools at the same time. It must be incredibly difficult. I mean, it's only two schools, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I admire anyone who works in, you know, because there are multi-academy trusts of many schools, you know, and I guess it's an interesting, it is an interesting move when you go from working in one school and say, you know, being a head of music, leading music for that one school. And obviously it's very much about building your musical community as well as leading the teaching, you're leading the musical life of a school. But suddenly yeah, you do have to have a different mindset when you start leading something across, to, you know, two or more schools, because obviously they are, they remain different schools. Mm. By being in partnership, they obviously have share a mission, they share ambitions, they share aspirations and ways of working, ways of thinking and what's important to them. But at the same time, each of the schools are very different. They, they serve different communities. They have different teams and it, it's balancing that need to have these kind of bigger messages about what do we believe as a trust, what's important to us in the arts and in music and drama and dance, but then how does that play out on a school basis? So the schools will do different things, you know, the curriculums will look different. And so it, I think as a, when you're working across a trust as a leader, you're, whilst you might be setting those ambitions and setting that strategy in the longer term uh, picture of arts across a trust, you have to give space for the people to lead the arts within their schools and you have to give space for the arts teachers to do what they want to do because they have ideas, they have dreams and aspirations and projects they want to do. So in a way you've got to, it's so much a collaboration. Mm. There's a lot of listening. You have to listen. <laughs> talk. Obviously, ironically now I'm talking a lot, but <laughs> you, you have to listen a lot because you need to discover what their dreams are for arts as well as having your own. And it's the same with pupils. It's a, it's a weird role because in a way I'm not working with pupils. Mm. So I don't have that engagement with young people that I used to, you know, so used to after, you know, teaching for so many years. So it is, it is a strange role, but obviously I have, you know, chatted to young people in both schools, but it's, you know, you miss it a bit. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a great role for just collaborating, listing lots and really building something together. And I suppose mm. you see yourself as a facilitator. Of you know, course. I want to work with these, find what their interests are and build around that as well as building around the students. We build around the teachers. And then I suppose... 
my kind of contribution to that is thinking beyond the schools and you know what can we do in combine in combination you know you know what can we do that we couldn't do alone that's what is that's why partnerships so important isn't it 